Hey guys, it's Jasper, and today I'm doing a writing vlog. So really, really, really quickly, writing update. My writing has been going well. I have been using my office hours. Are you using office hours? <laughs> and uh, they've been going really well. So yay for writing because um, as my fellow writers know, for every time you have a really good period of writing, it is usually surrounded by periods of not so good writing. And so you gotta be thankful for the good times, right? Right, right, right. Ah, and for the coffee. So the main thing I wanted to talk to you guys about today is something that I've come across a few times in my writing and now I've come back to, and that is writing scary stuff. <laughs> I am the sort of person that I, um, I don't like scary movies. I don't like certainly horror movies. I don't like scary stuff and I don't like to be scared. Um, but at the same time, I really like writing about monsters and gruesome, gory things and, um, uh, uh, so I kind of get a little bit stuck between, you know, two worlds. One in which I'm very much afraid and the other one in which I'm like, haha, let's create terrible monsters and see what they'll do. Uh, now that being said, I have to clarify. I... I do like some scary movies if it's got a really, really good monster. Um, and that's not to say that, that I'm not terrified of said movie, but um, I do make exceptions from time to time watching, you know, scarier movies or more intense movies if there's a good monster. An excellent example of this is the movie Pan's Labyrinth, which I remember when I saw the trailer, I was like, ah, oh, this is like everything that I'm you know, ever, you know, ever tried to do or what I'm trying to do. Um, and I, I, I was, I was so excited about it, but then I was also like, how am I going to watch this movie? Because it looks terrifying. And so I ended up watching it with my younger brother who was, you know, also scared, but, um, <laughs> but it was so good because they had such amazing monsters. And then, yes, I was terrified and I had all sorts of terrible dreams because I had really bad nightmares and, and uh, I was just terrified, but it was a great, you know, monster story. So to me, if something's going to be scary, it's got to have purpose. So in my own writing um, and in my current writing project, I have a lot of monsters. Sort of at the beginning of my story, there is a section of this story which is just kind of monster after monster after monster. And so it's a very terrifying time for my main character. And right now where I am, you sort of have certain monsters kind of coming and reaching, ooh, reaching out for her. And so I'm sort of having revisitations back to these sort of scary creatures that I created a while ago. And the problem that I'm having is that, um, another thing that I should have said is, along with this whole, uh, you know, I don't like scary stuff, but I'm writing about monsters, um, is that I'm also a night person. Because, you know, when is the best time to write about some real off-putting, creepy monsters? It was the dead of night when everyone else is asleep and the house is quiet except for those weird creaking noises you hear and makes you turn around, you know. Um, so I really like writing at night. But the problem becomes, you know, I have my office hours. I'll write till um, this week my office hours have only been till like midnight or, or, or one, but... Um, weeks prior, you know, they go either to two or four in the morning. So I'm writing, 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 and then my office hours are done. I feel really accomplished with the time that I've spent writing, finished my chapter, so I close it all off um, because it's important to respect your office hours boundaries. And, um, and then I'm like, well, I can't sleep now because I just wrote this terrifying thing you know you've got this character with this description of someone's head being like bit off or um just just really kind of gross stuff so you write these scary things and then i don't know how to go to sleep and not be terrified by my own 
you know, creatures and graphic scenes I've just written. So this week's video is it's not so much how I can help you, but maybe how you guys can help me. What I want to ask this week is, are there any other writers out there, you know, writing really kind of intense stuff? Maybe it's not graphic, scary, violent monster stuff, but maybe it's like really just emotionally intense stuff, um, you know, or, or whatever, you know, that might be. But how do you gear from writing very intense stuff to now it's time for my sleep um you know or or just intense stuff to now I'm gonna go do this so how do you do that how do you transition for me right now I have no way to do that and so I'm just not sleeping regularly and um it's kind of messing me up a little bit so guys as always Let's be a community of writers who share and help each other out. Comment down below, let me know what do you do to sort of transition from writing about scary stuff or intense stuff to just doing regular life or sleeping. And as always, keep drinking the coffee.